finished my first quilt top last fall, I think in October, and I had intended to get it quilted um, and also make another top and quilt it for my son for Christmas. Um, but my dad died in November, so I didn't get that done. But now my goal is to <laughs> make six t-shirt quilts by June. My dad really loved t-shirts. He had hundreds. So when I was going through his stuff, um, I found so many that I really, I mean, I remember him wearing them. Um, I know where he got them. Uh, some I gave to him, you know, I know the trips he got them on. He always bought them as a uh, souvenir. Um, so I'm going to make one for me and my brother and my sister and my dad's partner and his two sisters. Um, I'm hoping to get these done by the memorial that I've, been planning in June so we'll see um, I have some video of the first t-shirts that I cut I cut mine first because I wanted to if I messed them up I wanted it to be mine that was messed up we'll see how all this goes I'm gonna post as I as I go along and uh, share with you guys the progress on them which I think will also hold me accountable and keep me motivated to actually get it done for everybody by the memorial once again, I am at school pickup, finding myself with a couple minutes to spare, and I thought I would share with you that I bought a sewing machine yesterday to replace the 15-year-old one that's kind of mostly broken. So I went to the local Shields uh, Sewing Center and got myself this beauty. I am really looking forward to using it, and I am going to give it a run for its money, I think, in the next four months. I haven't showered, so you guys get all glamour today. So I was practicing getting to know my new sewing machine, and I was working on this quilt that I uh, started, I think, four years ago for my daughter, and it was one of the only things that I really had that was sort of ready to um, ready to go to practice, you know, figuring out for sewing and stuff on the new machine. And I was really excited about it, and then I realized it's avoidance. I was avoiding working on my dad's quilts, partially because cutting is one of my least favorite parts of anything. So I decided just to get over it. And I started a new load of t-shirts, got those in the dryer now, and then I got to work on some of the ones I already had washed. I had been avoiding these in particular because I had to cut them apart before I cut into them because the front and the back were usable. I have so many though, I don't know why I'm worrying too much about it, but I'm getting going. I'm about to order an entire bolt of interfacing, an entire bolt of wide backing. So hopefully those will arrive soon and I can start uh, fusing and getting things together. So my bolt of interfacing arrived today. It is a 25 yard bolt, which is a lot more than I will eventually need, but I figure it's better to have too much than too little. And uh, I know I'm gonna need some extra square, so I have choices, so I went with it. Um, I decided to start fusing a few of the blocks. I started with this one that has some um, embroidery on it rather than screen printing, since I didn't have to worry about protecting it uh, from coming off. and. It, it was a little bit difficult around that, that uh, embroidery. Then I just jumped right in to one of my favorite shirts, um, went around the outside of it. Uh, I was a little bit nervous that I was gonna mess it up um, or that it was the wrong size or something was gonna happen, but it turned out okay. Um, I used an applique pressing sheet to protect the screen printing from the iron. My iron is really, really old and it really is not very hot apparently because I really had to work hard to get it to fuse, the are facing to fuse. I need to get a new iron, I think. But the uh, applique pressing sheet worked great to protect the screen printing. This last one I went a little rogue on. I did it the wrong way um, with the interfacing up at first and then finished on the wrong side. Um, and that's because it didn't have any screen printing at all. So I've been thinking about something. This whole time I've been going through my dad's shirts, I've been kind of hoping that I would find this one shirt that I handed down to him. Um, he kept so many things. That, well, I don't know why he did. He kept this shirt. 
He kept this shirt. He kept this shirt. But what he didn't keep was the shirt that I got in 1996 at the Smashing Pumpkins Melancholy in the Infinite Sadness tour that looked like this. And it was awesome. But as I got a little older, I didn't want a shirt that fit so baggy anymore, but my dad thought it was really cool, so he asked if he could have it, and I said, sure, but guess what? I have not found that shirt. All right, so I counted earlier today and I had 53 shirts that were already cut and fused to the interfacing. Um, so that's a good halfway to my goal, actually. I still have a good pile of ones to cut and a few more that I haven't washed yet that will be added to this stack. I'm being a little bit more judicious in the ones that I'm cutting now because I have kind of the end in sight. Uh, but I'm excited to get into all these. I was fusing some more today. I got to most of his Florida t-shirts. He had quite a few of those that'll go into his sister's uh, quilts. But one thing I discovered was that things are taking forever to fuse. It's really not going very quickly. I keep having all these bumps, but if I flip it over after I do the initial fusing, and then I just put the iron directly on the interfacing when I know that it's the right way and I'm not going to get it stuck to my iron. It goes so much faster and I'm able to get them done in about half the time and it really sticks them down really, really well. So I'm, this is the technique I'm going to, I'm going to use to uh, go forward. I'm going to start with the t-shirt facing up and then flip it over and finish it off on the back. Look at that. So a couple weeks ago I finished fusing all the shirts and I needed to figure out the layout for each one and also what I was going to use for the cornerstones in the pattern. Um, I was a little bit hesitant to start cutting into the other clothing for the cornerstones because I just wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do. Um, I did know I wanted to use his Marine Corps tartan. My dad was a Marine, he wore this shirt all the time, I have lots of pictures of him wearing it, so I knew I wanted to use this for as many shirts as I could get. I needed about a quarter yard for each quilt that I was gonna uh, use it in. And I wasn't quite sure how many uh, pieces I was gonna get, but I cut really carefully um, and I got as many as I could. And I'm actually not even done cutting it out yet, but so far I've gotten three quilts worth. I might be able to get all six out of this, partly because there are bonus pieces, like double layers like that. So I've been taking some of the extra uh, fusible that I had fusing it and getting those three inch squares that I need 
Um, and it's working pretty well so far. I might just do four out of this one instead of all six. Um, I did finally choose a sashing color of a dove gray and I am starting to get everything assembled. I will have another video about that soon, um, but I'm pretty pleased with how everything is coming together. So time for a progress report. I've finished two complete quilts and I got some goodies along the way. These quilting gloves really do actually make a difference when you're quilting on your sewing machine. I also got this iron from my partner for my birthday. It's really cool and it gets really hot and it helps me to press these seams open with all of the um, 
interfacing. I guess not open, but over even. It can be a pain in the butt. Um, so I am, this weekend, hopefully going to get the last three quilt tops I don't have done assembled. I have one completely assembled, but not layered, basted, or quilted. And I hope to have another one layered and basted and in process of quilting by Monday so I can make it to my deadline by June 30th. So I got all three tops done. Last one I finished this morning and I came into my work, Quilt Addicts Anonymous, to uh, layer and baste one of them so I could uh, actually quilt it and hopefully start binding it this week. And um, I ran into a little problem. The tables I was using to lay it out on, it's actually four tables. And I had a little bit of a mishap when I was putting the batting down over the backing and it got a little wrinkly and I thought I had gotten it all sorted out, but I didn't. Um, when I, after I spent, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes working on it and pinning it, I was rolling it up to transport it home and I discovered this. A whole bunch of bumps that were going to be pleats in the bag. And after thinking for a second, maybe no one will ever notice, I decided that anything worth doing is worth doing right. And so I sacrificed another 45 minutes, some blood, because I poked myself with all of these pins and a nail to get it done right. I started prepping my sixth and final quilt, Father's Day weekend. Here I am marking out the uh, diagonal grid that I use on all the quilts. It just goes through each of the blocks and then six inches away I'm using an 18 by six inch ruler to do this and a friction gel pen. The gel pens really are cool um, on the t-shirts, the darker ones, it does kind of uh, make the fabric fade a little bit so I have to be really careful to mark only where I'm gonna sew and sew right on that line. Then I went over to work and I used our extra large tables and cutting mats to cut the, um, the backing actually was already cut. So I'm cutting here the batting. I found the absolute smallest rotary color cutter ever known to man here, which is why it didn't work too well for such a thick cut. But then I laid it out on top of the backing that I had already prepped and taped to the table, laid out the quilt on top of that, and I pinned in between each of those little uh, diamonds which takes forever and my fingers really hurt by the end of it, but it holds it together really nicely. Um, it takes about a half an hour to do this in real time. Um, I work from the center out um, on each side, trying to make sure that I'm smoothing as I go. I rolled it up and folded it up and I took it home and it rained for the first time in like a month when I was doing this. It was kind of amazing. So this isn't at night, this is rain. But then I'm very carefully going over each and every one of those lines, starting in the middle and working my way out, roll it back up, go the other way. And I have to do that four times total. Um, I still have the binding to do uh, to assemble and get on, but I think I will be able to get it done by the end of this weekend.